Hello and welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'm going to show you how to make these uh, really cool macrame bracelets. It's uh, made of like a leather leather band. And I'm going to make you, uh, yeah, the one that you just saw I made. And I'm going to show you this one. Also used as a leather band. I really like them. It, it, uh, it, yeah, it looks good with the other one around my arm. So I'm going to show you how to make it. It's a technique that everybody probably knows from like back in the day. It's from like a, yeah, back in the day kind of style. So yeah, we need two leather bands. One is 50, 50, uh, 55 centimeters and the other one is about two meters. It's a round one that I bought. Uh, natural color, two millimeter diameter. And uh, yeah, natural color. So that's the, the short one. And uh, the two meter ones are on my left. So the short one, we just half it. And the other one we half it as we half it as well. So connect it together with a little knot, the 55 centimeters around it, the two meter one. So it looks like that. So in the middle we have the short one, and on the outside we've got the long one. Grab a piece of uh, tape or a heavy book or anything that you can place on there. And you can place a little bit of tape on the bottom as well to prevent it from moving anywhere. Alright, we'll start. So the one on the right you place over the middle. And then the one on the left over that one. And then you go underneath the middle and through the one on the right. And then you pull and you bring it upwards. There we go. So every knot that you make, you bring upwards. So now we're going to do the left one. So you do first the right one, then the left one. So now you go from left to the right, over the middle. Then you grab the right one, you go over that one, and then underneath the middle, through the other one. And then pull it upwards. Now the right one, over the middle. And you pull, grab the other one over that one, underneath, and through. And there we go, and pull. Oh. Then the one on the left, over the middle. It's just left and right, left and right, left and right. Over the middle, that one over the top, and then underneath, and then through the other one. This technique calls macrame. Right, there we are. See if it fits your wrist. So we just have to finish it off. It's about 10 centimeters that I've got left. And obviously the other halves are a bit longer. So what we're going to do is just need to make uh, the finishing touch. So the one on the left, we'll, we'll grab the left one, the middle from the left one to the left one and the middle from the right one to the right one, and then you, that's why you connect with, with each other, if that makes sense. To make a little knot, and then you cut up the ends. And then you cut it off. It's 
table on the other side. You need to have a little piece left. Make a little knot. Also make sure that's stuck properly. So that one we're going to click through the beginning. Top, we're going to pull it through, then another time, throw a little one. So, you basically, make two little knots. Make sure that's pro stuck properly as well. So, I went through the top bit and then through its own, so like the second knot. And then make sure that's like the same length, put a little knot there as well. And then cut that off. Alright, there we are. And now you can move it from side to side to make it bigger or smaller. So you can put it around your wrist. And then you can connect it. Part with one wrist. So if you pull both sides, it will it will turn smaller. The bracelet. And that's done. I hope you enjoyed it and you try it at home. You can do it with different materials like paracord we've done um, with uh, old fashioned Scooby Doo. I don't know if you heard of that. It's also like a type of string. Um, either way, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to our channel down below and always be the first one to be informed about new videos. And I hope you try it at home and I wish you a good day. Yeah, have fun and hopefully we'll see you soon and next time at DIY Days. Bye!